We all have our favorites during the month of Ramadan, and pinkasso is one of those foods that I make every single day. Let me show you how I make it. Into a measuring cup, I'm adding half a cup of warm water. This is not boiling water, it's been sitting in my kettle for a while. Next, I'm going to add a teaspoon of sugar, mix it until it is dissolved, and then I'm going to add half a cup of tap water. So now we have lukewarm water that's ready for our yeast to proof. Give that a good stir and set it aside. Now this pincasso is going to be a little bit spicy. Here I have a selection of peppers and some onions and I'm going to chop them nicely. Into a mixing bowl, I'm going to add two cups of all-purpose flour followed by my chopped peppers. Next, we're adding that yeast that we have proofed and then we're going to stir it just a little bit with our wooden spoon. Pincasso is a savory donut here in Ghana that we really, really enjoy, especially paired with our cocoa and other porridges. To season this pincasso, today we're using Maggie Shrimp Seasoning Cube. Just add it to a bowl and add a little bit of hot water until it dissolves. Give it a good stir to make sure everything is well dissolved and go ahead and add it to our flour mixture. Following that, add about a quarter cup of water and give it a good stir. Now this is where you put in that elbow grease. With your wooden spoon, beat your pincasso for about a minute, then go ahead and cover it with some plastic wrap and set it aside for half an hour to let it rise to perfection. Now look at those air bubbles. I just love to see it and the smell of risen dough compares to nothing. So go ahead now and add some oil to your frying pan, toss in some chilies to indicate when it's time to add your pincasso. Dip your fingers into some oil to avoid the batter from sticking and go ahead and scoop some batter. Now pincasso is known for the hole in the center. It really is not as difficult as it looks. All you need to do is punch a hole with your thumb and then drop it into the hot oil. Let's try that again. Let your thumb meet your middle finger and drop it into the hot oil. With a chopstick, turn your pincasso until you're satisfied with how golden and crunchy they are. Remove them from the oil and drain out any excess oil and don't forget to add your sugar. Pincasso is sweet and spicy and all things nice. Cook the difference and make it a memorable iftar with Maggie.